All right. Um, I did a couple videos on fixing my LCR meter. <laughs> my power supply burned up. Uh, one of the capacitors shorted out. So uh, this is the test that I wanted to do before the thing blew up. Um, I had bought some uh, ferrite beads that were marked at the store 60 ohms and one amp current. And I had been using things like inductors, which were 3.3 microhenries at, you know, 16 ohms, that, that kind of thing. I sort of asked on my channel, um, what did 60 ohms mean? And a lot of people said 100 megahertz, and I investigated a little bit, and indeed, 100 megahertz seems to be the standard test voltage for ferrite beads. I don't know why, unless they're otherwise marked or something. So I wanted to test these at 100 megahertz, and I don't quite have the ability to do that, but I can go to 10 megahertz. And so we'll test them at 10 megahertz and uh, see what they do. So the way that I'm gonna do this is with a, uh, let me move a little bit. In one of my videos on me repairing this, uh, way back days when I got this, first got this uh, LCR meter, I went through it and fixed it all up and everything. And I built some fixtures and I built this fixture which is a little bit of little pogo pins and I can put a, a surface mount part in there. All right, so I have one of those 3.3 3, um, microhenry, millihenry. Make sure it's connected here. Oops, there we go. Uh, so it's 3.1 microhenries and uh, it's, it's uh, labeled, uh, oh, you can't see that, can you? Sorry, there we go. Um, so yeah, so 3.1 microhenries at 10 kilohertz, okay? And it was, uh, usually things are measured at, it's really, it's really impossible to know where exactly they're measured unless you look at the data sheet, but inductors and stuff. Could be 10 kilohertz, could be one kilohertz, you never know. This machine only goes down to 10 kilohertz, so uh, that's what it is. And if we look at its resistance, it's around, uh, 1.7 ohms, um, which they, let's see if I can move this thing a little bit in the test picture and see if we get a different reading. Uh, there we go, 11 ohms. Okay, that's better. I don't think it was making good contact or it was, I don't know, whatever it was. Uh, so we're measuring 3.1 and yeah, 10.6 and their little sheet says 16 ohms. So it all seems to be within spec. So we're measuring, we're measuring okay. So what I want to do is uh, take this out. I want to put in one of those little uh, uh, no CM 0603s uh, inductors, or um, I'm sorry, ferret beads. And let's see if I can get him in here without flinging him across the room. This is not the best test fixture, but it does work. And let's measure his inductance. All right. So uh, he's not doing much at 10 kilohertz, but we want to measure him at 100 megahertz. I can't do that. So over here, I can bump it up to 10 megahertz. So now we're measuring 10 megahertz. And uh, over here, we're measuring eight nanohenries, but what we're really interested in is the Z. So yeah, five ohms. So it's not 60 ohms, it's five ohms. Let's make sure I'm making good contact with everything here. And there is some insertion problems with my fixture. Yeah, five ohms. Uh, so, is it 60 ohms at uh, 100 megahertz? Yeah, probably, but it is five ohms now. We can, uh, let's see, let me back up a little bit so you can see all the numbers here. We can go to uh, four megahertz, two megahertz, one megahertz, and you can see that at one megahertz it's not doing anything at all. So, it's only up here at above 10 megahertz, it's starting to actually it's starting to actually attenuate signals and stuff, which ferrite beads are supposed to do. So anyway, I do believe it. I do believe a 100 megahertz number. Uh, let's take that up so I don't lose him. All right, so just a quick little video uh, measuring these little uh, 
uh, these little ferrite beads. And uh, yeah, 100 megahertz, in case you're wondering, it's probably the number.